Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27 and in this video I'm going to give a quick overview on how our email and text message alerts work. So the first thing is um, we send out various alerts or notifications out when um, certain things happen in the system. For example, your staff or and your support are going to get alerted when bookings are created, when uh, they get canceled, or when there's something changes with them. And your customers will get uh, various emails, like when they create a booking, they'll get a confirmation email, uh, more like an a, a email just to let them know that, hey, we've got your booking. Um, there are also reminder emails that are sent to the customer and follow-up emails after service to see how things went and a lot of emails like that and for example your teams will also get emails for what their schedule is their meaning uh, what jobs they've been assigned and uh, and if you have this feature on your account um, they'll get invitations to do uh, see if they can do certain jobs so all of this communication is handled with the emails or text message alerts and so I'll walk you through right now how to uh, find these uh, emails and text messages so that you can edit them. So the first thing you want to do is click on this settings icon and for the emails you want to click on the emails menu here and click on email templates. So, the, uh, the, so the, they're basically templates. Anytime you edit them uh, all the other alerts that get sent out will, will, will follow the template. And we group the templates into different categories. This tab is for all the templates that are sent to customers, uh, meaning the recipient is the customer. Here, the recipient is your support email that you have set in your account settings. So that's usually a general inbox and anything related, to, uh, a lot of the bookings related stuff, gift card purchases, um, those kind of things will be sent to your support email. Your teams will receive their own sets of emails. And uh, here they are, a lot of them are related to the booking or their schedule. Um, also, when they get uh, paid uh, to show how much they earn or um, if you wanna show them uh, what their rating was that a customer gave them, stuff like that. And staff is uh, really just sent to each individual staff's email. And some of these are just basic account management emails like resetting your password and stuff like that. Or when uh, a team changes their availability, we send these messages directly to staff and send it to support. And if you wanted to view all of them at the same time, you just click here. And um, so let's just hop back to the customers tab. And you can see that all of these email templates will have the name of the template here, the subject line, and a description of when it's sent and what it um, basically when it's sent and what causes it to be triggered. So instead of reading them all, I'm just going to let you uh, follow along with it. I mean, you can check it out when you when you're going through it. And uh, the next thing you'll notice is that we have these buttons that it's a green one for to edit it and one that says enable. So the edit one is pretty straightforward. When you click it, you'll go to a, a editor where you can. Um, edit it and I'll go over more in depth later but here these template uh, I mean these uh, buttons that say enabled and disabled when it's enabled it's going to be green and it says enabled if you want to disable it you click that it's going to ask you are you sure and once you hit disabled like that that means this email won't get sent out automatically anymore and if you want to re-enable it you just click enabled and then now it's going to get sent out automatically so back to how to edit them. So you can either click here, here, or here. It's all going to go to the same page. You can see here, uh, right now our email templates are just pretty much plain text. You can, um, you can bold things with the editor and do all the other things that you're probably used to working on the web. Uh, bold, italic, whatever. And um, you can also insert uh, data from the system. Here you can see we're inserting the customer name. Here you can see we're inserting info about the booking. And there is a long list of these different uh, code tags that you can use. And if you click on this link right here, it'll take you to our help documents that will show you the entire list and give you an explanation of what each piece of information does. Now, um, 
One thing I do want to say is that pretty soon we're coming out with an improved email, uh, emails that don't look like plain text. They're going to look like pretty uh, design emails. Uh, we call them HTML based emails. So they're just going to look a lot nicer, kind of like what you'd normally see, like uh, with colors and pictures and stuff like that. Um, and also instead of having to look these code tags up on by going to the documents page, we're going to have a way where you can just insert whatever uh, piece of code here directly from the editor itself. And when that is ready, I will come up with a new video to demonstrate that. So um, when you edit these email templates, if you wanted to uh, preview what it's going to look like, you can click this preview button here and then you can send yourself a test, send the test and then you check your email inbox and then you will see that uh, you'll see a real live preview email. And let's say you made a bunch of changes and uh, you just want to undo them all. You just click restore to default. You'll see that the changes I make are going to go away. Now you see it went back to normal and there's that. That's that. But if you ever do make changes and you need to save it, make sure that you click save before you do it. It's not going to save automatically. And um, so now I'll go to the text message, how to edit the text message uh, templates. So click here to go to text messages. And you'll see that the list is a lot shorter. We only have a few text message alerts. So these two are for customers. They're the one day reminder and the three day reminder. And the others are related to teams. So it's uh, like I was saying that there's a feature called uh, uh, where you can invite your teams to see if they can do a booking and they just reply back yes. And so there's a few templates here that are related to that. And there's the daily schedule uh, text message alert where um, this thing will run automatically basically and send the teams their schedule for uh, the next day. And uh, same thing here, if you need to edit them, just click here. It can use the same data as the uh, as the, um, the email templates, so you'd use the same doc for that, and you can also enable it, disable it, just like the uh, email templates. And that's about it. If you have any questions, please let us know at support at launch27.com. Thanks.